the heartbreak kid, Shawn Michaels, is expected to be at WrestleMania. And uh, he's expected to have some sort of possible role in a main marquee match. Ladies and gentlemen, WWE Movie Maker here. Let's get straight into talking about Shawn Michaels, WrestleMania 33, and everything that's going to go down in Orlando April 2nd. You know, uh, I've been starting to create these mini quick type videos before WrestleMania because I realize all the news that's going to be coming and I'm trying to make sure uh, that I can put all of it out for you guys but I also need to make sure that I'm not trying to make 50 or, or you know 50 minutes or an hour long videos because you know God forbid who the hell wants to sit down and listen to that uh, you know uh, for an hour or two you know nobody really has time for that but you do have time for 10 minutes at least you know hopefully you do if you don't uh, I don't know I don't know you gotta you might want to recheck your uh your life at this point. Anyways, 10 minutes, at least 10 to 20 minutes of videos through WrestleMania. You will get a WrestleMania review, uh, a preview, uh, predictions. You will get a NXT takeover, which is actually next Saturday. It was literally a week away. Uh, you know, I was, I, I was listening uh, to, or I was actually uh, watching some WWE uh, WrestleMania matches yesterday. And, you know, I was thinking, man, WrestleMania, it's about a week away. And, you know, it's, it's, it's like right among us right now. Uh, NXT TakeOver, you'll get the preview predictions next week. You'll get the review as well uh, when that happens. Um, you will get Hall of Fame news. Um, you know, uh, the Hall of Fame ceremony that's supposed to go down. Uh, I'll talk about, you know, all the people that are being inducted. And, you know, uh, you know, just have a quick video and a fun video for that. Uh, you will get a raw review. And SmackDown review the post WrestleMania for both shows, because uh, we can't forget, you know, the Raw after WrestleMania is good, but now we'll also get a SmackDown after WrestleMania, which isn't as hyped up as Raw uh, normally is. But uh, via the brand split, there should be some interesting things, especially the matches that are supposed to be happening for SmackDown. Uh, I'm telling you, SmackDown is already great as it is uh, after WrestleMania. That should be a show that you must not miss at all. Um, but again, the show of shows, which is WrestleMania, news on that will be going throughout the week. And we got the uh, latest news on Shawn Michaels. Uh, his possible role for WrestleMania 33 has apparently been revealed. What is it? Well, we know last year, right, Shawn Michaels appeared uh, with Mick Foley and Stone Cold Steve Austin for, you know, an appearance to confront the League of Nations, you know, in front of uh, WrestleMania 30, 30, 32, which was... Uh, uh, reported as the biggest crowd attendance in WrestleMania in in, in in you know WWE history, not even just WrestleMania history. Um, and you know, over the past few months leading to WrestleMania 33, there has been some speculation that Shawn Michaels could return for one more match. Although he did, uh, you know, deny a uh, AJ Styles, uh, you know, offer, and he pointed out that the reason why he did that was because. Uh, he didn't want to, uh, you know, out of the, out of respect for the Undertaker, you know, because he understood that if he were to go one on one AJ Styles, he would easily put Styles over, you know, and but he didn't want to do that because he lost to the Undertaker, right? So he just wants to pay respect to the Undertaker. I understand that. Um, the truth is that there are many opportunities for Shawn Michaels. There have been some discussion that he may as well be put into the Roman Reigns Undertaker match as a special guest referee, but at this point, that doesn't seem possible why is because we have one raw left you know i don't think they are able to put all that into one raw and make sense of why Shawn michaels will be the guest referee i mean he doesn't have any personal issues with roman reigns anyways right um he does have issues with the undertaker but you know just because uh, Shawn michaels was out there with roman reigns discussing the possibility of you know him you know being the next victim for the undertaker right i don't see that being a reason for him to be the guest referee um you know just because Shawn michaels did retire uh by was retired by the undertaker doesn't mean he have to be he has to be in the match with uh, roman reigns the undertaker um because if they're doing that they're just trying to make roman reigns be more of a uh a marquee guy and and to make him look like he's more main event worthy which you know don't, don't you know don't uh take me the wrong way he he isn't bad at what he, at what he does in the ring um, but he's not the status of HBK nor Undertaker, uh, nowhere near. So again, the more sensible, um, fit for Shawn Michaels, um, would be the current 
feud between Seth Rollins and Triple H. Uh, apparently, they're saying here that Shawn Michaels could be at ringside for the match to stack the odds against Seth Rollins. Uh, or even be the special guest referee of the match. This why it could be a possibility is because we still have a contract signing this Monday on Raw for Seth Rollins and Triple H. And it is called, the, well, the contract signing is pretty much an unsanctioned match. Meaning that if anything happens to Seth Rollins, because, you know, the story here is his, his leg is uh, injured. He cannot do anything to Triple H. No sue, no suing Triple H. What we do not know right now is what are the other possible um, stipulations, you know, that have been written in that contract. Could there be any other added components to the match that we don't know of yet that have been put into this contract, you know, that we might find out on Monday Night Raw? You know, if Michaels is going to be interfering in the match, if Mick Foley is expected to interfere in the match, you know, is this going to be some sort of no DQ? Is this is there going to be a stipulation to allow these? Uh, men to interfere, these superstars. You know, another reason why you know many superstars might be interfering in this match is because of Seth Rollins. You know, they don't want Rollins to, you know, be fully, uh, you know, w w don't want him to be wrestling like he normally does, like you know, high impact and fast pace. Because again, they don't want the risk of an injury during the match, right? So they'll have other things to stall it. You know, um, there are many ways WWE officials could utilize Michaels in the match. During a recent interview with Sports Illustrated, he pretty much said he's open for almost anything. So this is what he said. He said, like everything with me, I think, I, I like to think that they would, uh, or they could tell me at least at the last moment possible, and I can hopefully, you know, not screw it up. I want to say nobody, I want to say somebody mentioned something to me about being part of WrestleMania at, at the pre-show. But that is pure speculation on my part. As of right now, I don't even, uh, you know, know. And we've got the click, the the click event happening, and we got the Hall of Fame. Um, I'm very excited to see the Rock and Roll Express get inducted and Rick Rude, uh, among other folks as well. Uh, so WWE officials may be planning to use the Heartbreak Kid in something more simple, like Dallas with Foley and Stone Cold last year. Uh, if that's the case, then the WWE Universe won't know what to expect from him on the grand stages of, uh, of all until his music plays inside the Camping World Stadium in Orlando on April 2nd. Now, the possibility of another WrestleMania match with Shawn Michaels will be an enticing thought, but he hasn't wrestled a match in seven years. So, that should be thrown out the gate right now. I don't see, you know, Shawn Michaels along with Stone Cold, you know, uh, even along with The Rock, you know, wrestling another match. Um, it's not happening, All right? Um, at this point, it would be a tremendous physical challenge for him to perform at the highest level he did against The Undertaker years ago. Dream matches will continue to provide fun questions for the WWE fans, but non-wrestling roles still prove how great HBK can be inside a WWE ring. Um, look at the wrestling, uh, or the, uh, the, the, what is it called? The, the match that happened with Undertaker and Triple H inside the, uh, Hell in a Cell. Why did that make sense for him to be the uh, referee? Because, well, it was the story of Undertaker retiring Shawn Michaels just a year before, or two years. And his best friend is going up against him and saying that he wants to do what Shawn couldn't do. And since he mentioned Shawn Michaels' name, and he recently was part of the story, it makes sense for him to be the guest referee, or be part of the match, you know, because he wants to help Triple H because he knows this. But Roman Reigns, there's no past with, with you know, Shawn Michaels and him. And at this point, it's a little too late to include that stipulation. We're literally a week away from WrestleMania. It's going to seem way more rushed than it you know it would if, if if this was announced maybe at least three weeks out, at least, right? Or even this past Monday, you know. Um, but whatever Shawn Michaels is doing, I think they're going to save him for a special appearance. I do not think that he will be a guest referee in the Triple H Seth Rollins match. I don't think that's happening. I don't think that is needed. Triple H unlike what happened with Sting, is not wrestling for WWE. You know, they, they, they put that over as a WWE versus WCW match. And that's why Michaels was there to super kick Sting. But he's not here, you know, to help out Triple H. He doesn't need to. Triple H is, you know, this story right here is the prodigal son who's going after the veteran who, who you know, went under the wing for him. This is a, a, a like a son-father type of thing, you know, a, a protege and a, and, and, a, and a master, you know. Shawn Michaels doesn't need to be there to help out the master. The master is the one that can do this all by, by himself. 
right? If Shawn Michaels was there to help out Triple H, that sort of would have made you know Triple H look a little bit weak, uh, for lack of better terms that I have. I don't know what else to say, but it would have made Triple H look like the monster he claims to be. He needs to do this by himself, and he needs to get defeated by himself, and he needs to get proven, um, you know, or or at least get um, uh, put down by Seth Rollins by himself. Seth Rollins does not need any help, and this is how you will create a superstar in Seth Rollins. It'll be the step forward to bring back the Rollins we first knew. And I mentioned this before: Seth Rollins needs to be, needs to be, um, as hot as he is in the feud with Triple H after WrestleMania. So there should be something lined up for Rollins after WrestleMania because he's great in this role. Um, he may he may as well be taking time off after WrestleMania. Deserves it. He's working really hard for this match. If he needs to take time off for like at least a month or so, maybe even a little bit more, it's fine. He can be back for SummerSlam to face off, you know, for the Universal title, get drafted, something like that. But after WrestleMania, if he does take time off and returns, he needs to be as hot as he is in the Triple H feud. He is, he is a face that has been reborn that we haven't seen in a, in a little while from him. Um, we, you know, we saw how stale he was with Kevin Owens. And, and, you know, the fuse that he had in 2016 after he turned face against Triple H, you know, that was the last thing memorable about Seth Rollins. And up until the point of where he, you know, uh, invaded NXT, nothing really was interesting at that point, right? And that is what Seth Rollins needs to continue after WrestleMania. And I think he can do that by beating Triple H clean. So in terms of Shawn Michaels, I truly believe if he's going to be at WrestleMania, it's a surprise appearance. It'll be something like hap- that happened last year. I would, be, I would be shocked if he interfered in a match. Um because I don't see him needing to interfere in any match. Um, that, you know, he could possibly continue a feud with, which he's not going to. So that's my opinion on that. Shawn Michaels apparently appearing at WrestleMania, surprise appearance, that's what I think. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for listening to this video. That is my opinion on Shawn Michaels. I will have more videos for you, more quick videos about WrestleMania. Stay tuned for that. Peace out.